talk about the final issue for today, uh, which is on the PDP suspending its members, you know, because the party, not suspending, expelled a former governor of Enugu State, Chimaroke Namani, yes. uh, and six others from, I mean, from the party for anti-party activities and other grave offenses in violation of its constitution. How would you describe this, PK? Mm -hmm. Yes, we, for me, I actually expected this to happen. Um, after the suspension, if you observed, um, Unamani did not stop can, uh, working or campaigning for Ashwaj Bola Metinobu. For him, it's a matter of conviction. He believes that power should go to the south. As far as he's concerned, he does not want to see uh, rotation of power back to the north. He wants power to shift to the south. That was what the PDP would have done. But some elements in the PDP chose to not respect the constitution of their own party. And they have turned the party apart as a result of that act of selfishness. Now, as far as Naman is concerned, there is nothing like going back on this word. It is Ashwaj Bola Mehr Tinubu that he wants to support. And he's bent on doing that without giving a hoot about the uh, implications or repercussions. But we need to look at the law. What does the law say? Can the party get away with expelling Nunamani and six others at this time? These six individuals holding on to the tickets of the party for National Assembly seats. What are you going to do about them? Do you intend to take the tickets from them? Because what is the point in expelling someone from the party if he is still able to uh, contest uh, the national, I mean, the national elections, the general election? What is the point? So if you look the the Electoral Act does not envisage that at this time of at this time, we just two weeks to the election. The Electoral Act does not envisage that any party can change its candidate at this time, except if the candidate withdraws or the candidate dies in the days leading to the election. Expulsion is not one of the grounds upon which a party can uh, uh, can um, can change can, can, can change its candidate. Section 33 says a political party shall not be allowed to substitute its candidates whose name has been submitted, except in the case of death or withdrawal by the candidate. That's what Section 33 of the uh, Electoral uh, Act says. Section 221 of the Nigerian uh, Constitution, 1999 Constitution, says no association other than a political party shall canvass for votes for any candidate at any election. So, with these guys expelled now, where are they? Which party is sponsoring them uh, for election? Which party will be canvassing? Uh, for them. Unamani believes that he is backed by law, that the National Working Committee of the party has no power to expel, to punish, except the neck of the party. And let me quote what the, the law says. Notwithstanding any other provision of the Constitution relating to discipline, no executive committee at any level except the National Executive Council, shall entertain any question of discipline as may relate or concern a member of the NEC, President, Vice President, Governors, Deputy Governors, Ministers, Ambassadors, Special Advisors, or member of any of the legislative houses. So the, the PDP Constitution, 
permit only the neck of the party to discipline Unamani. So as far as he's concerned, the party cannot uh, uh, punish him. Um, so section 65 to be of the national national Constitution says a person shall be qualified for election if he is a member of a political party and is sponsored by that party. So that is where the confusion is. If the if a section of the constitution says you shall be qualified to uh, contest, that you shall be qualified to contest, you are a member of a political party. What happens? when you are expelled what would the party do i'm sure that in the coming days you will be able to see clearly the intention of the pdp but the law is kind of contradictory in a way because a portion of the constitution says you can only contest if you are a member of a party so once a party expels you it means you are no longer a member of the party. But the Electoral Act also says that the party cannot substitute a candidate this close to an election. And it specifies how you can substitute a candidate. That's in the case of debt, or if the candidate on his part says, look, I'm withdrawing. So, by the letters of the Electoral Act, Unamani cannot, will still remain the candidate of the party, along with uh, Leke, I mean, Lere Olayinka, right. and the rest of them who are demised as can, uh, candidates of the party at the party primaries. So, mm. based on the Electoral they are free to contest, they will, they will be on the ballot because the time, the window for Substitution of candidates has already been shot. Hmm. So, well, as I said earlier, in the coming days, we will seek in bold relief what the PDP intends to do. Do they intend to take this matter further legally? Do they intend to explore some loopholes? For example, uh, the Constitution is superior to any act. So, the, uh, now, we don't know how the courts will interpret the portion of the Electoral Act that stipulates that you can't change at this time. And the Section 65 2B that says that a person can only contest an election when he is a member of a political party. So somebody expelled cannot be described as a member of a political party anymore. Mm. So it's, it's a kind of dicey situation. Right. But I know that in the coming days, we'll see clearly where this whole thing will end. I think the fact that you, are, you have actually quoted um, the relevant section of the Electoral Act 2022, you know, says a lot because we're actually out of the 14 days where they can, it, it didn't withdraw and, and all that. So um, Fabian Akese says, PDP is only making matters worse for themselves. Appointing Ayu as national chairman of PDP was a big mistake. Atiku should have stepped down for, or Atiku should step down for Wiki for power to go to the south as soon as possible. I don't know how that's going to be, you know, a reality any, any longer. Um, Yaya Dako says, we will continue to support the true journalism. Don't just come and bash him because of your personal tribal or whatever judgment. I think this person is actually... Uh, speaking in your favor, because based on some, um, what's that word? Some people attacking your opinion here. Uh, Tony Goodman says, PDP Enugu should forget Namani. He is not longer relevant in Enugu politics. Moreover, he has just, he has just one vote. Uh, here says, I think uh, we, we have some, just some messages here. But then the fact that Fabian is saying that uh, IU is making matters worse and that Atiku should, because he has also done some things against the PDP itself. He has, he has offended, the, he has committed offense against the party itself. So Atiku should step down for Wiki as soon as possible. Does that make sense to you? 
Now it's too late in the day. It's too late. Even if Atiku decides to go now, he will still be on the ballot. Mm. So what's the essence? He will still be on the ballot. It's too late to change. I think Atiku's desire to be president, um, his, his overriding desire to be president pushed him to uh, even get into the race in the first place. In, uh, ideally, since the national chairman had come from the north, there is no reason in the world for the for the kind of party to also come uh, from the north. There's no reason at all, you know. But um, they were told, but they wouldn't listen. Out of greed for political power, they wouldn't listen. And now their party it has been torn into shreds, all because of the greed for power by a few. If in any case, um, Peter B is doing very well. In all of those states where the PDP used to be very strong. Mm. And if Atiku doesn't win this election, you cannot um, uh, give, find any other reason beyond Peter B. Because Peter B has energized what used to be Atiku's uh, political base. And that was why... Um, he Yoha, the former governor of um, um, Imo State, described Peter Obi as a spoiler because he knew that the places where they used to be strong, Peter Obi has uh, invaded those places and he has tremendous support in those places. So this is the thing. I can't wait for the election. Absolutely. Uh, to happen. Absolutely. Yeah, I just, just as... Just very, as very Right. Just as we all can't wait for the election to, to come and go because all of this halabalu coming from right, left and center. So before we go, Biko, uh, Johnson Akimbule is saying that, Mr. Gide, please, we can't condone your costume, mind you, Jesse. For me, I see it as intimidation. No, don't wear it to national TV. <laughs> well, uh, it's a normal thing. Uh, Jeremy Karaga said he's worried about the resurgence of man you under ten hag <laughs> uh, people can see now that, that the team is a change team man you is the only club in the whole of england that is still in all the four major competitions they've not been eliminated in a single competition mm. still in europa still in fa cup still in uh, carabao cup still in the league still in the top four in the league so people this is, this is a time for people to be really jealous and scared of Mayu. <laughs> and I'm not surprised that uh, my friend is scared. Interesting. Well, that's our show for today's edition of Issues with GD. Special thanks to you, Baba GD Colado Toji, for those insightful analyses. As always, BKO. Thank you. We'll do this again next week. So close to the election. Absolutely. Absolutely.